president signed into law the most comprehensive legislation on conservation since Theodore Roosevelt created our national park system. The Great American Outdoors Act. We are restoring our cherished national parks like Florida's own Everglades. My father is not afraid of questioning old conventions and finding bold solutions to care for hardworking Americans. One example is at the onset of the pandemic, our president saw that American crops, great, beautiful American crops, were going to waste while lines at food banks wrapped around the block. He instructed me to find a way to get this unbelievable, nutritious food, fresh fruit, dairy, produce, vegetables, everything, to families most in need. Within a matter of days, we launched the wildly successful Farmers to Family Food Box Program. Over a hundred million boxes of fresh, nutritious food has been delivered from America's family farms into the hands of those in need. It's amazing. To protect the most vulnerable among us, I have had the honor of working alongside our president as he signed into law nine pieces of legislation to combat the evil of human trafficking and online child exploitation in America. This wasn't even an issue that politicians were talking about. So, so important, the, the gravest of human rights violations. A few months ago in Tampa, law enforcement arrested six human traffickers and freed five women from modern slavery. Thank you, law enforcement, our men and women in blue. Do we love them? We will not rest until every American is safe and we stamp out the evil of human trafficking once and for all. To change the paradigm in the Middle East, President Trump also took a fresh approach. I heard the foreign leaders they called and they begged him not to move the American embassy to Jerusalem. Yet he kept his promise, also made and unfulfilled by many past presidents because he knew it was the right thing to do. <laughs> Defying all expectations, just last month he rewrote history again by making two peace agreements in the Middle East. The biggest breakthrough in a quarter of a century. President Trump has worked to achieve peace in the Middle East so that the United States can finally end the endless foreign wars. I agree. Thousands of American men and women have made the supreme sacrifice in the war on terror. Among those was the brave young American, Daniel Eggers. He grew up not far from here in Cape Coral, Florida. He has followed in his father's footsteps, joined the military, and became an Army Green Beret, a true hero. In 2004, on his second deployment to Afghanistan, Daniel gave his life while, pr while protecting us against these horrible terrorists. This afternoon, we are profoundly honored to be joined by Daniel's family. His parents, Bill and Margo, are here with us today. Thank you, Bill and Margo. And his amazing sisters, Mary Jean, Maris, and Rosemary. Where are you? Where is this? Thank you for your sacrifice. In honor of your son and so many other brave Americans, President Trump ordered the strikes that took out the world's top terrorist. He is advancing peace through strength 
and our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines are coming home. Two thousand came home last month. Two thousand. So important. The legendary Winston Churchill once said, it was the nation that had a lion's heart. I gave it the roar. How much does that remind you of our president and this movement? Has he not given all of us the roar? Here in America, at this critical hour, we the people choose Donald Trump. My father is so unapologetic about his beliefs that he's caused me and countless Americans to take a hard look at our own convictions and ask ourselves, what do we stand for? What kind of America do we want to leave for our children? I'm more certain than ever before we want a future where our kids believe in American greatness. We want a society where every child can live in a safe community and go to a school of their choice. We want a culture where differences of opinion and debate are encouraged, not canceled. Where law enforcement is respected. where our country's rich diversity is celebrated and where people of all, of all backgrounds, races, genders, and creeds have the chance to achieve their God-given potential. This is the future my father is working to build each day. <laughs> Folks, Washington has not changed Donald Trump. Donald Trump has changed Washington. And he's not done yet. America doesn't need another empty vessel who will do whatever the media and the fringe of his party demands. Now more than ever, America needs a warrior in the White House. My father fights so hard for each of us, each and every day, and now we have a chance to fight for him and fight for this great nation we love so much.